Just about set to start the bottom of the third. Shane Holsey, Will Connerly with you. Thank you for tuning in here on Car Shield Collegiate League TV. New pitcher for the Eagles is the right-hander out of Edwardsville, Illinois, Dawson Taylor. John A. Logan College, 6'4", 215 pounds. As a freshman this season, five appearances, three saves, 12 and a third innings of work, a 4.38 earned run average, and 16 strikeouts. He will work to Colin Parrish to lead things off. It's been six up, six down off the right arm of Jake Kostyshock. And he gives way to Dawson Taylor here in the third. It'll be Parrish, Hickman, and Fay here in the bottom of the third as the Eagles lead it 1-0 on the RBI ground out by Peyton Leeper in the first. Outside corner, strike one, one and one to the left fielder from Quincy University. Now a one ball, two strike count to the left-handed swinging Parrish. Caught the final out of the top of the third inning. Parrish was a freshman at Quincy University this season, red-shirted. So still four years of eligibility for him as he goes down swinging. Second strikeout for Eagles pitching so far. One off the right arm of Kosti Shock, and now one here for Dawson Taylor. And it's seven up, seven down. Forrest Terman has showcased some good arms tonight here on this beautiful Friday evening. He started with Costi Shock and then the very talented Taylor as well, starting things off nicely. There's some been some rain in the area. It's absolute, I live in Wentzville. It was absolutely pouring on my way here, but so far so good here in O'Fallon here at Car Shield Field. And an 0-1 count to Ian Hickman, the designated hitter, hitting in the eighth spot. That's swung on and missed. Jacob Costi Shock, six up, six down. Two quick innings of work and just 22 pitches. And now Dawson Taylor in an 0-2 count here against Ian Hickman. That's fouled straight back. Ian Hickman, the Wright City High School graduate. Played in three games for Lewis and Clark Community College. He'll be attending William Woods this fall. Played in Slava last summer, hit at a 444 clip for the Stallions of Slava as he looks at strike three and back to back strikeouts for Dawson Taylor. The Falcons offense that was so potent yesterday, nowhere to be found here in the first two and two thirds. Eight up, eight down. Andrew Fay, the shortstop, will try to get things started here with two away. A 5'10", 150-pound shortstop <laughs> of John Wood Community College, a two-way player. Hit 281 with a homer and six stolen bases. And also struck out nine batters on the hill and recorded a save for the Blazers this spring. He looks at ball two, 2-0. Two oh. Seeing his first action here in the Car Shield Collegiate League. And that's swung on and missed for strike one, two, and one. Falcons 1-0, and oh, Eagles 0-1. Oh Day three of the Car Shield Collegiate League. We thank you for tuning in here on CCL TV on YouTube. A reminder, hoots and gems in game two. And fireworks afterwards. And in between game one and game two, Charles Glenn will be performing the national anthem. Special treat for the fans here at Car Shield Field. Two and two. The count to Andrew Fay. Fouled back. Taylor looking to strike out the side in order.
Again, seven inning games here in the Carl Shield Collegiate League. These Falcons won 14 to 10 yesterday in a slugfest with the Cavemen. 24 total runs. Two home runs by Austin Schmidt as that's chopped in front of the plate. And smartly, Stall Cup will let it go. Faye, good speed down the first baseline. Likely would have beaten that one out had Stall Cup picked it up. And Faye working a nice at bat here. After the first two batters struck out on eight pitches to begin this inning. This will be the seventh pitch of this at bat to Andrew Fay. Trying to extend the inning to Troy Bealsmith on deck. The 2-2 from Dawson Taylor. Down low, 3-2. He's worked it full. So it's the kind of at bat you're looking for out of the nine hole. If you're Josh Kiesel, manager for the Falcons. The 3-2 from Taylor. Breaking ball, pop fouled on the left field line, and then it will drop in the visitor, visitor's bullpen down the left field line. And Faye stays alive. A pesky at bat here from Andrew Fay. Steven Randazzo gave that a nice run down the third base line, but ran out of room. Ninth pitch of the at-bat coming up here from Dawson Taylor to Andrew Fay. Another foul out of play. That's four two-strike pitches Fay has fouled off in this at-bat. Count stays full at three and two. Here in game one of this doubleheader. We're off tomorrow and then back in action on Sunday for another doubleheader. Here on this 4th of July weekend, getting things started with some baseball. Nothing better than the 4th of July and baseball to go together. Eleventh pitch of the at-bat coming up. Here it comes from Dawson Taylor. Swung on and missed. He strikes out the side. Good at bat by Andrew Fay, but he goes down swinging. And three strikeouts for Dawson Taylor out of the bullpen. We head to the top of the fourth. Eagles still on top, 1-0. You're watching Carl Shield Collegiate League Baseball on CCL TV.